so spring is here <laughs> it is March y'all I can't believe it um it is March plan with me time it is not March yet I'm actually filming this quite ahead of time it is February 21st um so good job Mariah you kind of are <laughs> ahead of the game this month <laughs> um so I really enjoyed the stamp uh, kind of theme that I did last month as well as the specific color. Why does the heater always come on right in the middle of when I'm talking? Okay, so we're just going to kind of go ignore that. So I decided again to use a stamp theme as well as a themed color. So this month's theme is pink. Um, and the stamps that I'm going to use, I don't know if you can see them without the backing. So when I got the Paris ones, I got Paris London and this kind of like girl boss kind of, um, type theme. So this is what we're going to use this month. Um, so the really some cute little quotes and little handbags and, and heels. And, um, I like this one down here. It says hashtag goal digger <laughs> instead of gold digger do you get it okay so we're gonna use those this month and we're gonna use a combination of these four pens I do know that on the blackout paper this one specifically the gold shadow one um, comes out mostly gold looking but um, we're just going to roll with that. Um, maybe it'll give it some context. So I have a Moonlight um, Neon Pink. Um, this is called a Moonlight, I believe it's called Rose. And then we have the Pink Metallic. And then we have the kind of pinky purpley gold shadow color. So that is our color palette for the month. And then the only ink that I have, I haven't gotten any more um, that'll show up on the black paper is my silver um, ink that I got at Michael's. So we're gonna use that as well. Um, so yeah, let's get into the planning. Um, and as a review from last month, my, if you didn't watch it, my theme was teal. And I ended up, or yeah, like teal and mint. I ended up getting this super cute washi tape um, from, I believe it was Staples. I was there and I was kind of like meandering around like I do. Um, anywhere where there's arts, art and stationary supplies and I bought this. So I think I might incorporate this also into this month's theme, although I'm not sure. But I also have two... Two other pink washi tapes but they're more pastel and then I have like the bright one that uh, neon ones that I got um, from when I had my neon theme a few months ago so I might end up um, using a combination deal I'm not really sure so we'll set those aside too so yeah let's get planning <laughs> So as you can see, I really like to set everything out for myself when I'm doing these plan with me's, um, just to kind of set the vibe. Yes, I know I have snowflake, um, little lights still. Um, I love the ta Target dollar area and I got those in the winter time and I haven't shopped for a new set yet. And speaking of Target, so a few months ago I got this vertical bookmark stencil thing, which I will use in this video. But then I um, saw this one there when I went back. Um, so it's basically like a monthly stencil and it has all 31 days. And then there's like a line in between each of the weeks. Um, and then at the bottom of the stencil, there's also like little circles and little squares. So super cute if you wanted to like go in and use those. Um, unfortunately at the top, the 
days of the week start with Monday. So we, I don't start my weeks on Monday. Um, and Sunday is the first in March. So once I did all the letters, let me tell you, I was holding that stencil like my life depended on it. I was like, you better not move on me because with gel pens, they have to dry otherwise it'll smear. So I was like, please don't move. Please don't move. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went in here with my Moonlight Jelly Roll in neon pink um, to do the monthly calendar. Now, this is bigger than what I normally do for the monthly calendar, but I was like, let's mix it up this month. I really wanted to use this stencil. Um, one thing when you to be aware of is like if you slightly move the stencil, it won't look like you've really moved it, but you will. So the calendar is not to the naked eye. You can't really see it from here, but like it's slightly moved to the right. Um, so it's not perfectly straight, but it's the imperfection that makes it perfect, right? The one thing I should have just done is done S for Sunday instead of SU like it was on the stencil because it's not spaced out like correctly, but it's okay. Um, and then I go in with uh, my metallic pink. I know it looks silver here, but it, I believe me, it's pink metallic um, gel pen. One thing that you just saw me, you saw me like wipe the pen on a napkin. That's something I've started doing, especially when I'm setting them up so that um, it doesn't smudge. So you kind of like get that little bit of excess ink off. So I feel like that's definitely helped. And because my calendar is so big, my kind of setup that I've been doing is um, a bit off. Um, so I kind of throughout this, I kind of kept flipping back to February to kind of see, look at my layout and then kind of see like what I wanted to do on the back cover of my journal. I have a sticky note with like how many dots is halfway width and lengthwise. So that's what I was referring to there. And this is the stencil I was first talking about. It's like, um, it's like a bookmark and it has a ruler and then it has letters too. Um, so I split the page in half. Top is monthly tasks. Bottom is, on the bottom half, it's in my intentions. So for this month, I'm trying to focus on strengthening my ankles because they give out sometimes and that's not fun. And then on the right side of that, um, I'm going to put my work schedule calendar, the one that I normally kind of put underneath the one on the left there. So... Here I was like trying to plan out like which stamps I was going to put where, but I was like, I cannot do them at this stage in the game because then it'll get all smeared and get everywhere. Um, so I decided to wait to the very end till I had set everything else um, up. And because of what happened last month, I made sure that I was like counting enough boxes. And if you can see here, if you watched last month's video, that is different than what it was what I posted and that's because I actually took a page out of the back of this journal and reset it up and kind of pasted it over top because I just wasn't really wasn't happy with it at all and I totally would have posted about that on Instagram I just Instagram I had I typically pre-set up the posts for myself and I just didn't do it and I was really busy with work but anywho so yeah I wish I had Left myself one more box because I forgot that I was going to do the days of the week too. So again, spacing is everything and just taking your time. But yeah, so and then I go in with the um, Moonlight Rose um, color. It's like a rosy pink color <laughs> um, to do the days of the week. And so I did that with all of them. So I went back and did the monthly one and I'll use the same, that same formula for like my YouTube calendar and my personal care stuff as well. I don't know if you can see kind of in the right of the video, I have those little post-it tabs. Um, 
it's stationary, stationary related. So I'll chat about them real quick. I first got a set in, st- in a store somewhere. I think it might have been Target, but yeah. So I got like it was like silver gold striped polka dot plain like metallic and I love them and then I started reading this book for uh like a business type book and I um and then my like planner at work is very like springy like that so I bought those but yeah so I use those in my journal to kind of have like a tab on the edge like so my finance page like so I can find it real quick I almost it's like I need more than two bookmarks essentially so that's what those are for and then I'm also using them in a book that I'm reading that book that I was talking about um so my finance spread I set it up a little different than I normally do normally it's almost like a half page and then there's two columns um but I decided to do just in a big line this month um yeah so that's that obviously some of it I left blank for privacy reasons but you know, we all have a car payment and stuff. So that's what that is down at the bottom. And yeah, it's stamp time. So um, one thing I have to know, I know I mentioned this probably in last month's video, but to be careful um, when you're stamping and making sure you let everything dry. Um, I thought I was doing that and maybe it's just this ink specifically like maybe I should look up reviews on it to see if it's something that this ink does but I was very careful I like wiped off all the edges of the stamping blocks before I stamped anything and I didn't like flip the pages over immediately and like press down to like do it on the you know the stamps on the other pages but um, it still transferred a little bit. So, because I wanted the stamps to be very saturated so that it would like look good. So, like for this one, um, this is like the little, um, she's like the little girl boss. Um, and so, see how like pigmented that is? Oh, it looks so good. But then, like, even though I waited a few minutes, this is obviously sped up, but, like, so I waited a few minutes, and it still transferred some on the other page. So that's a bit frustrating. So I'm going to have to do some, like, research on this to see, like, what the deal is with that. Um, But, yeah, it's kind of when you're working with a blackout journal, you either have, like, silver or gold or bronze I would say and those are probably your like three choices as far as like ink goes um so maybe it's just the brand of ink that I purchased um but the quote um that I just stamped was act like a lady think like a boss and then there's a cute little heeled shoe that I'm stamping right now and the purse um And so you can see the difference between the heels on the left and the purse and then the heel and the little girl, um, the difference in pigmentation. So it does make a difference. Like if you really coat the stamp, it looks like really good. Um, And that one says girl boss. Um, And yeah, so you can see here it's like transferred a bit and that's a bit frustrating. So I might try to cover it up with like washi tape or something. But, um, yeah, so March is coming up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and happy planning. See you next time.